Hey guys, and welcome to episode of the Terror Zone, where we talk about a certain, certain native. You may know her as Pocahontas, but her life is so much more than that, as you see as we go into the Terror Zone. I should warn you that this is not the Pocahontas story you heard of. It's way different. So if this is not, not, this is not the story you were hoping to hear, Pocahontas, I suggest you leave right now, because this story is beyond what Disney has taught us. Honestly, everything we talk about Pocahontas is all a lie. So I suggest you leave now if you want to keep that a secret. Okay, here we go. The real history of Pocahontas. Pocahontas was born in, in 1596. Her real name is Macaria since I can't pronounce it very well, so if you want to look up and find out the real name, you, you can. But for now, we're just going to call her Pocahontas. To the flower between... Meant to, it meant to be a flower, it means. She got this by being born between the years of her months. She was the daughter of the chief Powhatan. Seemed unjust. Around the river bend. Contest came from. Which seems she was betrothed to, well... In the movie, she was betrothed to, um, Cocoam in the story, and, well, according to this story, and just, that's where the right inspiration of that came from, and she lived beyond that area. And her mother was given the same name, and died during her childbirth, so with that, Pocahontas was 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 raised by her aunts. Pocahontas' father had a lot of children from different tribes and different women. So, yeah, he is a... ladies' man, to say the least. But pretty common for chiefs, surprisingly. Guess because they want to expand the... expand their generation there. Anyway, out of all the children, Pocahontas was the chief's favorite because she looked the most like his mother, her mother, in which which he named her Pocahontas, meaning playful one. Settlers didn't come until 1618, when Pocahontas was 10 years old, John Smith was a, when John Smith arrived with Englishmen settlers, and he was 27 years old when he arrived to America, and they never had ownership. John, John Smith was a was cunning and not so nice and once he got there he brags about himself a lot the indian village even put the gunpoint to get the food and to see because well i guess he didn't give them the food be hard to get them the food at this point He needed, so he stole from them. See, John Smith was a really nice guy, so he put them on gunpoint every time we needed food from the Indians. The Indians captured John Smith for it, but after John, after that, Pocahontas stopped them. 
because Pocahontas at the time, this might be what the, what the ending of the movie of Pocahontas is based off of, where, he, where she saves his life. But this is only because that Pocahontas grew very close with John Smith when they were young, and that he would come to him. But also because of the fact that, well, there was no reason to fight that day. Sure, they got a little angry at him, but Pocahontas had the right idea to stop them and to make peace with John Smith instead of getting overraged about him stealing their food and stuff. So Pocahontas wanted to make, wanted to make peace with John Smith, and that was really what it was all about, and not really about her, well, you know, falling in love with him and all that stuff. And after that, John Smith and and his and Pocahontas' dad grew closer and they helped each other through the village because of because of because of that. Pocahontas saw the settlers as the way of saying thanks for all of John Smith's help. Even John Smith was given high honor from the chief. Pocahontas was ten years old at the time, so she would not be involved so at this. All these are false alarms came from John Smith. So John Smith, when he came back to England, he told false stories about what happened. So whatever happened, really happened, was all, was, he didn't really tell them what really happened. He all, he lied about it. And that's why we, we claim we end up getting certain things that were all not true. When he wrote to people to make some money, despite what John Smith in the land, he gets to try to rule over the Indian lands, and it get wor it would get worse from there. Very often, the Englishmen would rob the. Indian women because of the heat, the rape because of the heat, they would take off their clothes, even underage kids that looked sexy. In order to save the children, the parent would, would, um, would give themselves up instead after this. They decide to go to war. It's a crime for Indians to go to war, but they had to because of how because of what happened with the with the rape. It was just going way too far. So to get at that, the Englishmen decide that they would get out out of this by they by kidnapping the chief's favorite daughter, which is. Well, Pocahontas, because they attack them if they have something of theirs. Pocahontas was 14 when this happened. She had her name changed to Pocahontas and married to... And she was married to Chief Jalwasa. I hope I'm saying that right. And she had a daughter. Senuel... I don't know, was the one who kidnapped her. Into order, in order to do this, they realized they had no other choice but to let them take her. So they thought that maybe if they take her for a little while, they can give her back. This is only for temporary until they can get them as bait. Francis was buried in England while the tribe was buried somewhere else. People have been trying, begging them to move her, but to no avail. All of her papers were lost. Pocahontas' father died of grief, wishing he could have saved her. Her descendants pass on, though. One became a famous comedian, Wayne Newton. And her son married a landowner. And that right there is the whole story of Pocahontas. How did you enjoy it? Did you, was it more messed up than you thought?
tell me in the comments below. And we'll see you next time on the Terror Zone. Next, we'll be moving on to something something more terrifying, hopefully. Look forward to the Mary Poppins Terror Zone coming up pretty soon. And more coming your way. There, her family passed notes to her to make her feel better. She mentioned that she had been raped and this happened more than once. And not only that, she was trying to make her more up. At this point, they told her that he, father couldn't save her to keep, to keep her from coming back. And they, well, they keep telling her that her father wasn't saving her. And that she'd be betrothed to, to marry John Rolfe. And she was, she was forced to change her clothes and change her name to Rebecca and become Christian and to wear fancier clothes as well, in which she tried, but they were too tight and they were uncomfortable to wear. But because, uh, because they were so, they were so uncomfortable. John Ralph was meant to give her money. The English didn't want to tell, tell them what they were doing to Pocahontas. John Rolfe and Pocahontas, some people say they loved each other, and some people say they were forced into it, but who knows. John Rolfe happened to be the only nicest of, out of the Englishmen to Pocahontas. It was so nice, so she might not had a choice. Pocahontas at this point could never go back to her Indian life. Once she was married, she was she was um she had to stay there for life. And father and her father couldn't advise the attend the wedding. So he gave her a pearl necklace Kind of like the one in the movie, as a gift. So that could be inspiration for that. Shortly, her family was later taken captive to see the king and queen. And she had a son later on. Many of her family tribe after this got killed once tobacco was invented including her family as well after this when once Pocahontas got back with John Ralph and the Englishmen they take a boat Pocahontas was got very sick. She served her purpose, but she got very sick and unfortunately she flew up and died on the ship on their way. Two men have poisoned her, it turns out, and she died very young by the age of 21. Pocahontas His tribe and the Englishman never told anyone they kidnapped Pocahontas. They didn't want to, well, if they did, they would kill themselves. Bongos was taken captive. Once Pocahontas got onto the boat, sadly, her husband was unfortunately killed off when the Englishman got onto the boat. The Englishman killed him. (laughs) 
and she never seen her whole tribe again. The daughter would have, her daughter would have been would have been taken care of by her aunts before her, and raised. 